Hey, what's up guys? I am back working on the truck again. This will probably be a short video and I know it's been a while since I've actually filmed. We are back with the S10 today doing some more work and not too much, but just a little bit. We're trying to get some improvement on the engine temperatures. The engine is running very hot. Um, the fans are just keeping up, uh, the Mishimoto fans, and the radiator is just keeping up, but once we start getting into the slow idle area, or if we were in stop and go traffic, that is when I would be worried. And this is not even taken into account, we don't have the AC hooked up yet, so it is not looking very good in that aspect. We gotta figure some things out, but what I'm gonna do today will maybe help me while I'm moving, but maybe not so much at a stop and standstill, but any amount will help. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do and I'll go ahead and show you the truck behind me and get into it All right, so I got the truck right here and you can see I have already started getting into it a little bit I am going to take the grill out the headlights out obviously the marker lights all that So not the whole front end just a few aspects of it and the reasoning I am doing that is because I have this piece right here Oh there you go, you can see it. Um, this goes right here onto the core support and it helps direct air into the radiator when you're moving. Uh, so just trying to get some of that air and pushed in instead of having it go by on the outsides. Another thing I'm gonna do, and you'll see I'm gonna get here close to the grill. We have these billet inserts in the grill. I like them, I think it goes with the you know chrome theme on the front, at least for the headlights, marker lights. Um, and then you have you know the chrome inserts in the grill, the billet inserts. and I like the way it looks, but it does restrict airflow because if we come in here, you're probably not going to be able to see in there. Let me try grabbing a light. Okay, I got the light in there, and you can see there's the cross mesh pattern in there from the grill itself instead of, uh, you know, just the billet insert. And then we have these vertical bars uh, that actually mount the billet insert into it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut that cross platform out. I don't really need it. It's just creating a little bit more restriction. Uh, that on top of the billet insert. So take the billet insert off, cut all of that cross mesh material, and then I'll put the inserts back in because I, like I said, I like the way it looks. And that should give us a little bit more airflow in there, a uh, little less restriction, and that's pretty much all we're hoping for. Um, that is, Kind of the idea of what I'm going to be doing today in this video, so it shouldn't be too long and uh, should hopefully give us some improvements on those temperatures. As y'all can see, I got the piece on. It is mounted just using zip ties on the top. Same thing on this side. Keep it pretty solid. Yeah, I don't think it's really gonna go anywhere. The bottom's not gonna move anywhere. That's a tight fit, so not too worried about that. Hoping that will help uh, you know, direct air in instead of having it push out once it hits that. Um, at least that is the goal. So one step toward, uh, you know, the completion of this front end, hopefully. We'll see, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so now to go and start cutting up that grill. Now you can really see how much restriction there is behind the billet insert. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. I think I'm gonna try doing it with a pair of side snips first and see if that'll cut through them and then clean it up with a Dremel. But like I said, we'll see what works best. Just getting all the cross hatches out, leaving the vertical beams so I can put the inserts back in.
as you can see, got everything cut out. Now I just have all these sharp edges. I'm gonna go in with the Dremel and grind all that down to where it's at least nice and flat where you won't cut yourself. So that is the plan. So y'all can see, went and cleaned everything up and it's all looking pretty, pretty good. So, um, you know, there's gonna be black spots on there and it's not perfect, but it is pretty dang close. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the billet inserts on. I went and kind of just went and gave it a clean while it's apart and now it's gonna go back together. We got everything put back together. As you can see, I put the hood down and got everything kind of tightened up. It all looks good. It should flow a lot better as far as the air and it should be more direct into the radiator. That is at least the hope because we want to keep those temperatures down. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.